Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another Pygame tutorial video. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is uh, we're going to be improving our game intro function. Right now, it's pretty lame. You know, we've got these messages to screen, but to play, you're pressing key buttons. That's kind of silly. So we're going to go ahead and change that. Um, so I'm going to add some buttons. And the buttons will be, this game is a slightly more complex game. So in theory, when we have a start menu uh, or a game intro, so to speak, It'd be kind of nice to, um, like, first of all, it's, it, we, we do want to include P to pause and, like, Q to quit if you want to quit or whatever. But, um, like, here would be better to have, like, a button and say, like, play, and then another button here, controls, and then another button here, quit. Like, actual buttons. And with Pygame, surprisingly, there are no buttons, like, built into Pygame. So you kind of have to do it yourself, and um, at least as far as I know, I've seen some like third-party button modules and stuff, but um, but there's nothing like official with Pi Games. So uh, we're gonna need to build our own buttons. So what I think I'll do is we'll have like green, yellow, and red, like red to quit, and we basically have all these colors, right? We've got a green, we've got red, but we don't have yellow. So the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and define yellow. And yellow is the meshing of red and green. It's crazy, I know, but that is it. So let's do uh, 200, 200, and then 0 for yellow. That'll make a yellow color. We'll see how that works out. But So 200, 200, and 0. And then we're going to come down to our game intro, and this is where we're going to build our, our buttons. So first of all, what is like? there's no button module, so how might we build buttons? Well, we know we have all the tools that we need to build a button. So, the first tool that we might need to build a button is we need to like make a button shape, right? We have to visually make a button. Well, we can do that because we know how to make rectangles. So, we can make a rectangle button. Boom. Uh, the next question is, well, then how do we know like what that button is? Well, we know how to place text, so we can place text to the button. Um, so that's how we can define the button. And then to make it feel like a button, you know, if it's just like a little box there and you move your mouse over it and nothing really happens, you want it to be like responsive. So most buttons today are responsive in some form or fashion. Or anything you can click is responsive. A link, you get the, like the underline, sometimes a link will change color, you've got like hover color. Buttons, you've got like the buttons when it's hovered, for example, here it like, um, you know, kind of raises up the button a little bit and uh, it just make, gives you the feeling that it can be clicked. So we definitely want to do that. And so how can we do that? Well, we do know that the event handler knows the position of the mouse. So we know that by the position of the mouse, we can make a button do something to let us know that, hey, I'm a button. You can click me. So all of that we can do. And then finally, we also know when a button is being clicked on the mouse. So we can build a whole button. So we can build a button ourselves. And it, it sounds complex at the beginning, but it's, it's just like one little step at a time and together we can make an actual button function for ourselves. So that's what we're going to be doing, or at least starting to do. It's going to be, a, it's kind of a long process, but that's what we've got, we got going on. So first of all, our buttons are going to replace this press C to play, P to pause, Q to quit line, Q to quit line. So first of all, let's just go ahead and comment that out. Now, before pygame.display.update, let's just make some space. And, and here's where we're going to add uh, some of our rectangles. So we know that we're going to just add these rectangles, and they're going to be our buttons to start. So first, let's just draw the rectangles to the screen, get them kind of aligned how we want. So first, we'll do pygame.draw.rect. Where do we want to draw it? Game display. What color do we want it? We're going to make this one green. This will be the play button. Uh, comma. And then X, Y, uh, we'll do 100, uh, and it needs to be near the bottom, so 500. And then 100 pixels wide and 50 pixels tall, so it's a, a real rectangle, as opposed to a fake rectangle. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, save and run that and see where our little rectangle is. So here we have a, a rectangle. Okay, so that'll be like our play button. Obviously, it's just a rectangle right now, but we're going to get to some pretty cool stuff. So we'll close this. Okay, and let's draw the other rectangles. So let's go ahead and just copy this and do uh, paste, paste. 
and the X location will change, the Y location will not change. So let's do 100, 300, and 500. We've got green, we just, we defined yellow earlier, and then red. So we've got a green button, a yellow button, a red button. 100 uh, X, 500 Y, the sizes will stay the same. This one just starts at 300, and this one starts at 500 for the X value. Let's go ahead and save and run that. Cool. So we've got our stoplight here, and uh, so we got um, yeah, that's okay. Yellow. It's kind of like a piss yellow, but that'll do for now. So these are our buttons, but they're a little off center. Uh, we want to shift them just slightly over. Um, so our center button we pretty much want centered. So, but keep in mind, hmm, this is a challenge. Keep in mind, so we've got 800 by 600. This is 800 wide. So in theory, you would say, well, the center would be, right, our center button should be 400. This should be 200, and this should be 600. That would be what you would assume. But keep in mind, this 400 is the top left location of our button. So that's not going to work out, right? Because 400, it'll be too far over to the right. So let me just show you guys really quick. See how it's like that? So really, we want the center of our center button to be 400. So how will we do that? Well, our button width is 100 pixels. So really what we could do is 150, uh, 350, and then 550. And 350, because our button is 100 pixels, the center of it is only is 50 pixels over. So 350 plus 50 is 400. So that should be centered. So let's go ahead and save and run that. And boom, we've got our centered buttons. Wow, math. So let's go ahead and close this. Cool. Uh, cancel this. Close that on this. And we've got our button placement. Obviously, we don't have any text on the buttons. They're not responsive. And they don't do anything when they're clicked. So we've got to change all of that. Um, but we're off to a good start. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to be continuing on with the buttons. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And stay tuned to the next video.